Okay, this video is going to talk about um, drawing and how, what you need to do or what you need to use in order to um, create your best drawing, all right? So one of the skills that you need to do is, is notice where lines and different things actually connect. So what's that actually called a contour line? So everything has a contour line. Everything has an edge. So for example, if I was looking at this shape, okay, I would see that this shape right here has contour lines, okay, has edge lines. Whenever you look at anything, you almost have to like think, okay, I am not looking at this thing for being around objects. I'm just looking at the lines itself, okay? All that, you know, areas where it looks like it's going around, that is all shading, all color, has nothing to do with the drawing, okay? And sometimes when you draw things, they look weird, but it's okay because you haven't added the color in yet, all right? So whether you're looking at a, a picture of something or a real life object, you gotta look at it and say, which direction is this, are these lines going in, okay? So I'm gonna take these and remove this. Okay, so we're gonna look at this shape, all right? For here, when I look at this shape, I kinda say, okay, I can see this shape, probably best to have a pencil that actually has a tip, there we go, okay? When I'm looking at this shape, I see that this line comes down, okay? And I, honestly, I do a whole bunch of lines. I go back and I correct myself and that's what I have. I see that this comes down. I see that this line, you know, is lower than this one, okay? Uh, yeah, by far. So it's gonna be that way. It's gonna come up, it's not an angle, all right? Do not go and start thinking that you know how things are just because you've been around the block and you're like, oh, I've seen it, I know what it looks like. Actually look at the items, okay? Because the more you look at it and the more they compare, you're like, okay, this is lower, this is higher, this looks like it's on a 30 degree angle. I'm not worrying that this goes back in space, not that, I'm just flattening the space and saying, okay, it's a skinny trial. I can draw a skinny triangle. This one looks, well, it kind of looks like, like a little bit lower. So if I kind of go here and say, okay, well, it's gotta go there comes up. Now, this doesn't look like much, right? And it's not. It looks like a, a weird shape. We don't know what it is. That's when you add the shading. You gotta decide, okay, is it a gradation, which is a nice smooth effect, or is it a, a, a solid value? So here, if I squint a little bit, so whenever you're looking at for something for shadows, you're like, okay, I can't tell if it's dark or light, squint. Okay, so if I just go and add some shading. I'm gonna do this quick, because you know, we don't have all day. Okay, and this side actually looks like it's got a little bit. Now, in reality, if this was on the floor, instead of me holding it, okay. Actually, I could draw with my hand, but I'm sure you have other things to do. Don't forget you have to put in the shadows. And the shadows sometimes look weird. It's not always what people will say, oh, just match the shadow, it looks exactly like the object. No, that's not the case. You gotta worry about where the light is coming. So if the light is coming here, okay, your shadow more than likely is gonna be over here. But if you have multiple light sources hitting all different ways, yeah, you're gonna get like these things that have like all these different shadows everywhere, okay? So when you're looking for a light source, the easiest thing to do is make sure it's coming in one direction and then you kind of know where the, the shadows are. Okay, so that's that. Um, how does this look like in other things? So for example, um, let's go with this one. Okay, um, this one is great because, yeah, he looks like he's getting kind of, you know, yo. <laughs> let's, let's get something there. All right, so this is one of the harder things, okay, where things are coming at you and you're like, I, the proportion's not working. I, I can't measure things. Well then start looking at it and saying, okay, take your, your pencil, see what angle things are going. So I can see that the shoulders are kind of going on this angle. this angle. Okay, so you put in lightly, excuse me, eyeball, the direction, okay? And you say, okay, well I see that this is kind of in line with that. Okay, well this is a little bit taller than that. You put it in. If it looks taller, 
it is taller, okay? Um, you see that it's kind of curving out. Okay, around, and we got this coming through. And this kind of looks like it's coming in. There's like this little divot here. There's a little divot right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that little divot. And you go one detail at a time. You don't take the whole thing. It, honestly, uh, there's a, you know, I remember in a book reading long so long ago, it's like, how do you eat a whale? Well, I don't know. You take one bite at a time and you keep going. Same thing with drawing. Take one bite at a time. If it's on an angle, you draw on an angle. If it's, you know, big compared to something else, you do that. So, for example, I can see that this, you know, the shoulder line is so much bigger than this, okay? I can even measure it. Be like, oh, well, I'm a measure. Oh, you know what? It kind of like matches. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of know how big this is because I, I measured it with my, my finger or you kind of line it up with your, your hand. So I'm going to go up here. Well, that's a little bit lopsided head. Let's add that right there. And you have to draw something a hundred times. Go for it. Okay. Draw light before you get it right. Um, that's a simple little saying. This basically means draw light because if you draw too dark, Okay, and you're like, oh no! You try to erase. You get what I call ghosts. Now, that's a ghost, okay? A ghost to me is something that's there, and but not there, okay? Like, you can see it, but you erased it, and you're like, oh, but it's not there, all right? Ooh, that actually looks pretty good. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, so one thing at a time. So what I would like you to do is I want you to kind of grab a couple objects, anything, and look at it. Measure it. Notice where things are, okay? Notice the, the contour lines, the edge lines, all right? And where they, they intersect with each other. It's like I see this one's come straight at it. Well, draw it coming straight at it, okay? Um, add the, the curves in the spots. Like if I had this one, now this, was, this is coming at you. All right, that's it's kind of like wild. But if you look at this, this hand is kind of right above the pelvis, so you would draw that there. And you're like, well, I, I, I know how to draw this. I gotta somehow connect this to here. So draw it. If it looks short, even though you're not like, dude, that's long. If it looks short, draw it short. That's what you should do. Okay, and that is all my little tips on how to draw really good.